Oh, how goes that? Good morning, adventurers. It is 13 minutes until the sun rises, and I'm on my way to go play some disc golf at the local disc golf course. It's a three and a half minute ride from my job to get to this disc golf course. Pretty close. Gotta say, I love love going here. I love its ease of access. But uh, yeah, welcome back. I don't know, I'm back. Hello. So, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk about disc golf. Yeah. And here we are at the disc golf course. What is disc golf? Well, if you're speaking English, I have a very good idea that you kind of know how golf works. Hit ball, get it to the hole, try and hit par, right? Well, disc golf is a lot like regular golf. You got different putters in golf, you got different drivers, I don't know, whatever they're called, in disc golf. Here's my uh, long range, a distance driver, my Valkyrie, my trusty Valkyrie. Got that in the bag today. Here's a mid-range, you know. That's what I got in the bag today. Here's my putter. So it's just like regular golf. I even have a different driver for the fairway, a driver for that one distance shot that I really need to hit, and a big chunky putter that I use for when I just chuck it like a brick. But yeah. Let's get playing. But first, we stretch because we're old. Down there is a basket. I'll show you. Well, that's how you hit a tree branch. So you walk out to your disc, find it, and then if you can make it out, the basket's right over there. So now I'm gonna throw my mid-range. You get to go on the ground. I didn't find my tripod. No birdie for us today. All right, if you can't see the basket now, I don't know what to tell you. Son of a mother. Well, that was my third throw. This is a par three, so we're just gonna go ahead and there we go. Par three. I got a plus one. I got a bogey. I'm sure everybody's loving hearing the sound of the chains banging this early in the morning, but that's okay because I can't hit the fucking chains. Look at this fuel. It's so misty. Should have shown it to you a few minutes ago. It was thick. I gotta go down here. It's all the way down there. Hold on. There we go. Got all my numbers on there. Gotta flip it over. Well, I'm not sure if you can see it or not. Uh, there's a little bit of something in the way. The hole was right there. And all that is the trees. Because Hurricane Helene just came through. Caused us a little bit of a mess. So I guess I gotta throw around these trees. Looks like a whole ass tree fell over. Good Lord. Yeah, there's the basket. And uh, it looks like the top half of this tree decided it was done. I think this tree might be dead. It lost all of its branches. All down here. All right, let's see if we can save par. Do not save par. I am now plus two on hole two. However, I didn't bring anything to record it with because I knew I was going to have too many things in my hands. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take a point off for the unnecessary hurricane debris. And we're gonna go ahead and hit hole three, 320 feet, whatever those are, I only know meters. And uh, I'll check back in with you in a little bit. I'll throw a couple of holes real quick. One of the bad things about playing at the ass crack of dawn right now is that I have to use this rag to wipe off every single disc because they're all soaking wet from the dew on the ground. Man, look at all that debris in the middle of an open field. Sucker, done lost a lot of limbs. As you can see, I've decided to just keep my towel in my left hand because I have to wipe off literally every single disc. And also, that one didn't go in. It bounced off of this. How wonderful. That doesn't count. That doesn't count either. Does that count for two? And with that, we have a plus eight on nine holes. There's only nine holes here at my Sangaree course. And um, yeah, I bogeyed all but one hole, got par on a whopping one hole. So it's plus seven if we count that uh, extra I gave myself for unnecessary debris. But I didn't go in the ditch and I didn't go over a fence. And what did we learn? Ooh, there was a cicada here. Oh, look at the cicada. Ooh. I'll tell you what we learned. We didn't learn shit, except that my GoPro needs some new batteries because one of them exploded, which is why I haven't used my GoPro in a couple of years. And this one keeps jumping between 60 and 10%. Pick one. It's dead. It's dead. I need new batteries. All I wanted to do, the whole reason, we're out playing disc golf at this god-awful early time in the morning. It's awful. Don't get up this early in the morning. Why? Why would you do it? It's terrible. You don't have a farm to till. You're not losing daylight. No. Ew. But no, I spent the whole weekend playing Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom all the whole time, all weekend, didn't do nothing other than that. So I needed to do something a little bit active before we return to my work week, which it technically is, but I don't go to work until one. So now I've done my exercise, I can go to bed. I can say that I didn't do nothing all weekend, but I did, I did do something. I got 11 hearts on Zelda already. I even got a good bit of Minecraft in this weekend. I died in lava. That was fun. Doesn't everybody love dying in lava? It's the best, I tell you what. But, I've wasted enough of your time. So I'll make an awkward pause and waste a little bit more. Have a good day. Wear your seatbelt. Also, please wear a helmet when you ride your bicycle. It really is worth it. I'm ordering a new one. Mine's old. I am not following my own advice, but I'm getting a good one. One of them fancy expensive ones this time. Bye.